Hey everybody, it's your boy Dylan Dan. Welcome back to the welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last video, we pulled out all the medical equipment. We got a bunch of stuff that we're gonna be giving away. We've already got someone online for that, so that's no big deal. Uh, some of the stuff we're gonna have for sale soon. That's a different video. But we need to start ripping this thing apart so we can see what's going on on the inside. We need to get our dimensions and we need to make plans. We got a whiteboard here that Ham and I, which is, he's behind the camera. Yeah, he's my official uh, cameraman and editor now. So welcome Ham to Team Do With Dan. He's, he's Do With Dan Media and uh, Rap Life Media too. Seriously, we're ramping up production. But we're going to start pulling stuff apart and pulling things out. We need to disconnect the battery first. We already drained the battery. And we've got this sweet like zip tie light in there to give us light while we're working on stuff. Yeah, now would be a good time to talk about today's video sponsor, which is... Lucy sponsored today's video by sending me out a bunch of these really nice packages of their, their nicotine gum. You know all my guys that work in shops who are in the military, you like to dip, you like to smoke, you like to chew. I get that, man. I've been working in automotive shops since I was literally in high school, man, so I get it. I know that break for nicotine. By the way, Lucy is not trying to get you to switch from smoking. It's just to give you a better cleaning tasting alternative if uh, you're at work or something like that and you can't smoke. It's good to have options. And honestly, these things are really good. They got a lot of good flavors they sent me out. They're, uh, they're wintergreen, they're cinnamon, and the pomegranate. Now, cinnamon usually gives me a headache when it comes to any gum, so I'm gonna try the wintergreen. So if you're looking, ow, man, that is good. <laughs> That's actually really good. You know how long it's been since I smoked? I quit smoking when I was 16. I stopped smoking when I was 16. If that get, no, I might have been 17. But if that gives you an idea of how much of a shithead I was, man, this stuff's good. This stuff hits. Yeah. Um, well, let me see what it hits like. Yeah, here. Yeah. Here, my cameraman's gonna try some too. No, 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 you can. Uh, here, come here next to me and do it while you. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. You're, he, the camera guy had his too. He used to smoke and he vapes. You, you vape, right? I still do. Yeah. That's some good shit. Oh, that's pretty good. Did you have the wintergreen? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever one you had. Yeah, that's good. Now, they can't give this stuff away for free. It's against the law. But if you use my coupon code, do it with Dan, you'll get 20% off of your order, and there's always free shipping. That's only my coupon code, guys. So yeah, thank you, Lucy, for sponsoring today's video. You'll be seeing them in a couple other videos too, man. These guys are awesome people. Thank you for working with me. Uh, now that I've got my nicotine fixed, it's time for me to go back to work. Let's cut shit. Um, I think now that we get the battery taken care of, because there's gonna be a bunch of wires, right? Like, there's obviously gonna be a bunch of wires, and I don't wanna do that. Like get in the wires. So that's why we disable the battery first. Batteries, multiple. And I guess we just start like taking shit apart. I mean, there's like tiny little screws and stuff that hold all this trim in place. I guess we'll just start pulling the trim out first and then ripping up the, the floorboards. <sighs> Nothing like a Wednesday to tear apart an ambulance. <sighs> Unprepared. Let's start taking shit apart. Hell yeah, we got movement. Is there one behind this thing? Cause that would be fucking rude. I don't know. I don't. Why? Why is there even a screw there? What's the point of all this shit? What's up here? How do I get access to this shit? That's plastic. Man. On that. First panel off. Message us if you wanted this perfect panel for sale. All oh, this is just wood. Is this like a something this thing can handle? It sure is. Damn. Where's the money? Where's the money, Lebowski? So here's another thing is with the ambulance shit is that everyone does a bad job with ambulance bills. I'm not calling out anybody by name because that would be very rude and unfair. But a lot of people get these, a lot of people get these ambulances and basically leave them 100% as is. They don't do any modifying to them. They don't change anything. They leave all the seats the way they were, all the lights the way they were. It's not how we're doing it. We're doing a real build. Might as well move these. I'm a bull in a china shop, that's for sure. These have been replaced before. Uh, I don't even know what's attached and what's not, you know? Oh, saw that drop. Ooh. We got another one right here, we do. That's 
set. Ooh. Ooh, is there like gold behind here? No. Oh. So yeah, these are updated fixtures, I guess. I don't think these are OEM because he totally missed the drill holes. Someone was in the process of doing some work to this thing. It needed it a little bit. I mean, if you were gonna keep an ambulance. Not us though. Somebody else would have been super appreciative of all this work. We're like, get it the fuck out. Everywhere you look, there's a problem. That's why this one was having issues. It wasn't grounded. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, they just, they just didn't ground it. That's a no big deal. It's just a house fire. Ooh. Ooh. Well, this is moving. <laughs> yeah, someone said that oxygen is an explodable because it's a, uh, it's a, it's an accelerant. It's an accelerant, not a. So I guess I was confused on the way oxygen worked. I thought oxygen in its purest form. I thought it was still flammable. Was flammable. Um, <laughs> I know the I know the tanks are explosive. But that's just because of pressure. Dude, this is so cool. This little switch. I like the oxygen. I don't know. I like anything that's industrial. I like it how once you get past the way everything's packaged, it does look like a much shittier presentation. Like look up here. Like you're like, oh man, these ambulances are so cool and put together, and then you look up here and you're like, ugh. <laughs> Yeah, that's all aluminum. It's something we found out afterwards before we decided to like use an ambulance. We found out they're all made out of aluminum. And I do have a MIG torch for welding aluminum. I've never done it before, but we're gonna figure it out. That's what Ham likes to hear. It's like, oh, what? You've never welded aluminum before? Well, I guess we'll start with my fucking house. Turns me how many wires are not hooked up. No, I mean, concerns me? No. Surprises me, yes. I don't know what this whole thing goes to, but it's not plugged in. So, I guess this thing, uh, which is actually, believe it or not, still totally cool, um, has like a vent in it. Get that turbine in there, I can't tilt it up any better. But this all looks good. I managed to take out another piece without destroying everything. Perfect. Perfect. And since you're now technically like an employee of me, you'll have to refer to me as like, uh, as Daddy Duo Dan or Daddy Dan, but that's part of the deal. Who signs my checks? Uh, technically, ooh, good question. Anyway, we took a quick break because it's, it's fucking hot, but I don't want to leave the fan on. Ooh, ooh, that was genuine. That was fucking hard. Oh my God. You all right? Yeah. Oh fuck, that was gnarly. I felt my teeth rattle. Yeah, I, they clicked, I heard them. That fucking sucks. I watched her eyes cross. <laughs> you look like that dumb Bella Delphine bitch when she does, ah, whenever she does whatever she did for the internet, remember, remember she was a thing for like five days? Okay, don't hear her this. Oh, look how fucking gross that is. Look how gross. Blech, stuff in there. <laughs> this is gonna be, I'm gonna need to get some pliers. I mean, you think that it has like a lot of pliers? But I really don't. I really need some. If there's anybody that wants to send me a bunch of fucking pliers, they say, do what fans are man. We want to send them some pliers and other tools too. <clears throat> Email me, it's in the description. Business inquiries only, please. Man, if this is not how you do it, someone's screaming their head off right now, saying, no! All you have to do is pinch and twist, you fucking moron. That's not moving at all. That can't be what you do to do it then. Come on. That can't be how you do it. Uh, oh. That's that has not been moved in years. Either that or all EMTs are fucking jacked. Fuck. Ay ay ay. What is how long does this thing go for? Holy shit. I'm really good. That exploit that. <laughs> Fuck, I could have done that from the start, man. This is probably worth a good bit of money, unfortunately. That's how the medical field is. Even the smallest and cheapest things, five thousand dollars insurance will cover it. Fuck face. I'm trying to cut my language back. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> She's always like, "Well, Daniel, I'd watch your videos if you just didn't cuss so much. I had to put them on mute." That's how she sounds. She's Italian from Minnesota. 
That's just how strong I am. I moved the ambulance. I pulled the ambulance closer with the wrench to me. That's what happened. I'm sure there's a tool for this thing in the ambulance somewhere. The guys who normally operate this stuff are probably just like really sad. You know? Not mad. Just bummed. You know? Like disappointed. Like Dan, I thought you knew more about the medical field than what you're doing than to use channel locks on the floor clamp thing. But I don't. <laughs> What a fuck, you know, like... I think ambulances are metric or standard. But most people in America, when they can use metric, I use metric, I like metric. Why is it every time we're doing stuff with the ambulance, it's gotta be thunderstorming? Why has it gotta be spooky? Parkour! Get up, bro, I did some tricks. I'm, so, I'm such an athlete! <laughs> Ooh, that flag pole was really hard. Ambulance parkour! No, 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 don't show that. Come on! How can it not move? I refuse to believe. It's like Thor's hammer. Are you serious? I'm not worthy. You want me to have a go at it? Yeah. Maybe it has to be you because it's your ambulance. Some WD-40 maybe. Oh, you got movement. Like you remember when Captain America moved? I'm afraid this is gonna hit my balls. Like, I'm, <laughs> and then you hit your head on the way up. <laughs> so you hit both heads. <laughs> the flat face now. Oops, oops all head trauma. Like, let me adjust that. Don't just hit my knee first. Yeah, those are replaceable. You only got one pair of balls. No one's just lining up to get for ball replacements, I don't you know? I want to give it full fuck because I'm scared. I am too. I'm going to lose so many 10 millimeters in this thing. It's totally threat. We could have pulled on this thing all fucking day and nothing would have happened. <laughs> wow. I feel so dumb. Like kingdom. That's gross. Look at this. Look at all this. I don't even want to know what this crud is from. This will probably start patient zero. First, we're going to have a brake parts cleaner, knock up all the gunk. Don't breathe this. It's real good. Oh, what even, dude? Okay, these, there's no way these floors have ever been cleaned. Like, really clean. Really, really cleaned. Yeah. Just put rubbing alcohol and brake parts clean on the bottom, and just kind of like scrubbed it. I, I don't even want to look at the bottom of this rag because it's gonna be so, so gross. Ugh. And this is also a uh, non-impact socket and extension, so hopefully it won't blow up. Okay. That was loud, for some reason. All right, dude, we're making some room. We're making some headway. I think we got some Bose audio in this bitch. I'm sure. Surround sound Dolby. What? This is a Chevy, right? Yeah. It's a Ford speaker. I find it odd that they would have Ford speakers, like OEM speakers. Matter of fact, this is out of like an Explorer, I think, the Vanguard. Okay, Braun, I see you, I see you. I do like one thing about this, is that it seems like all the wiring stuff, it's pretty much got connectors on it ready to be taken out. Like, it's serviceable. Like, a lot of stuff you find, you gotta cut wires and stuff, but thankfully, all I have to do is just disconnect those. Huge time saver. Oh, that was a big boy. Half off. Bunch of wires and shit. 
Okay, so this is just a straight up aluminum box then, with, with vinyl covering it. This is this is kind of what we wanted to know, right? Like, what's what's our limits? It's like I'm not tall enough to work in here, but I'm not short enough to work in here either. Awkward medium. <laughs> I really didn't expect it to come off like that. Hell yeah. Ooh, how are you? You, know, you got some good insulation here. This is all aluminum. Like every bit of it's aluminum. Well, if this if this is acceptable welds for aluminum, then I think I can probably do that. <laughs> I think I can probably weld aluminum then. If this is all I have to do better then, then we should be just fine. Yeah, that's all this is. It's just a, a vinyl covering. I see how they did it though, they just glued it on. And that's just all aluminum? That's just all aluminum. That's neat. So we can just cut this however we want and weld a new one in place. You know, we can shorten the boxes or adapt them. You know, we can like make them shallower, make them deeper. We don't want to, but we could. Okay, I see. That thing's heavy as shit. <laughs> Everything. Everything's gotta be fucking held from the back with some shit, huh? That was under some tension. That was under some tension. Oh, man, why is everything gotta be built like a fucking problem? Just put like five pounds of tan right in the middle and let it just do its thing, you know? Why? Oh, is it because of the sharps container? <sighs> Everything's like this. It's, it's always like this. Ugh. And I wasn't gonna not wear jeans today because. It's fixed. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. There's like. There we go. So this is your oxygen controlling system, I guess. And then you've got a bunch of back switches here that I don't know what they do. Um, but I've read a lot about this, actually. A lot of wiring is integrated with the, the harness in, in weird ways. We have to be careful when it comes to like the leading systems because there's a lot of systems on here that are integrated into the ECU. So, I don't know, we'll figure Like, I think the most problem we're gonna have is mostly like the lighting and the blinkers. I don't think there's anything in here that keeps this thing from running or driving, which the rest of it, who cares? Like, as long as it runs and drives, blinkers work, or the gauges work, who cares? Because we're at a weird point where we're starting to figure out what some of the materials are. We knew a lot of this was going to be aluminum because that's what ambulances are made out of. But at least this box on the far left, this whole floor piece and wall are aluminum. Like an aluminum box, kind of. So that means, depending on certain areas, we're going to have to cut it out and weld in new pieces and shit like that. We're going to have to adapt the sizes of certain things. Which we had the suspicion because every ambulance build keeps most of the stuff in the ambulance. Exactly. Probably because of this reason. It's why we talk a lot of shit on people who do other ambulance builds because they just leave the countertops, so they maybe like repaint them or something like that. They're like, that's good, it's a build. It's like, no, it's not a build. It's like 
you've put blankets on your ambulance to make it look less like an ambulance on the inside. We're gonna build out an ambulance. This is usually the part where we cue the like rock music or some shit, so. Stay up and eat ice cream whenever I wanted. Yeah. Oh. How dare you save lives? Ambulance? Uh huh. Oops, all staples. See, get perfectly good men like Ham doing this shit. Yet your man crush is paying 24.99. Ah! Ooh, that hurt. That looked like it hurt. Right, I don't want to play anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Really nice enforcement, Ron. Gotta say. Compression plywood, like really good double wall plywood, just stapled together because ambulance.
Jason Mendino can operate a sawzall with one hand and not cut any wires in the back of an ambulance. You know, I don't want to talk about like how I'm really, I try to be humble on camera, but it's kind of hard when you're just so fucking awesome all the time. I need you to hold this really tight while I take the sawzall to it. Okay. Teamwork. We're making some progress. Look at this, bro. The problem that we have here is that there's another strip screw over here that I can't get to, so it's kind of like, okay, I guess I'll just keep on keeping on. Bone your saws off. Just another round for you. Witnessed me get my ass kicked that hard in a long time, man. Especially for a one inch piece of plywood. <laughs> like some glue on it. Uh, if you think about doing an ambulance build, do what everybody else does. Leave it the fuck alone and then paint it. Make it look glittery. You know, if you're Samantha, your name's Samantha, they're like, I'm gonna live in an ambulance. Just, just fucking don't. Just don't do that. Just look at, just go to Starbucks, get you. A frappuccino. And a, like a Honda Civic and just curb the fuck out of those wheels and you just keep doing you. Don't do this. Fuck, this is heavy. This is lighting, this is lighting, plugs, ooh, all lighting. This is for a fan, so it's not hooked up anymore. I think a lot of the stuff, if we come here, we've already deleted some of the systems, like the, the oxygen system. I think a lot of the stuff that's in here is, is basically running on its own, very simple ECU, essentially, or like a, a, a really shitty wiring harness. A nice wiring harness, but really simple. It all seems to basically, all this stuff most mostly seems to run through this little firewall passage here, this walkthrough passage, into this big box here, which I'm hoping is a very simple array of switches. We haven't gotten to that yet, but that's probably also gonna be in the next video. I suppose once we decide the dimensions of what we wanna keep, we'll either, we'll cut out some of this aluminum and probably move it inwards, or maybe even extend it, I don't know. But like, this is all aluminum box that we can cut and re-weld and do different things with. Oh, you know what? I want to do one thing right before I close the video because that's the end of this video. A lot of people have asked, how many people have died in this thing? I think that's really a weird question to ask. It's not important how many people have died in here because ghosts can't haunt moving things. They can haunt establishment. They can haunt resources. They can even haunt electronics. But anything that's mobile with wheels, like RVs, ambulances, cars, motorcycles, they can't do it. They, they're not allowed to. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of today's video of how to disassemble an ambulance. We didn't know how to do it. 
Uh, but remember, guys, it's just work, and we'll see you in the next one. DK, what's up, my little donkey call?